Hi guys, welcome back to CRD. Today we are going to see how can we apply CSS and JS into our class website. Website. We have learned how to use the nav bars from Bootstrap, but we had not applied any CSS of that. So you will have to firstly uh, link Bootstrap CSS to apply the CSS into that. As you can see that this was our application, and you can see that this is a, a simple HTML, but not the CSS is applied here. So what you will have to do is I have just made one head tag here and one tackle tag and under this I have written some uh, info about our application okay like flask f form okay so this is our index.html and under head tag under head tag uh, you have to apply the CSS link of bootstrap so you can go to bootstrap and get their CSS links so as you can see this is the js delivery and this is mm, css link and as you can see this is the uh, js link okay so i have to copy this css link and just copy here and go here and paste it okay so we have pasted and now let's save it and let's run our application again okay now visit the site and you will see here that this is now yes, uh, a proper way okay let's resize our application and you will see that it is also working okay <clears throat> so like this you can apply the bootstrap css you can also apply the bootstrap js with applying this okay so now let's see how can we apply our own custom css and js so firstly let's see how to apply our custom css so for that let's come into our folder here we are working now let's create one folder here and I'll name it static. Okay. Make sure that your spelling is correct. Static. Now under static, I want to make two folders. The first folder I will make is styles. Okay, where I will save the CSS files. So under CSS uh, styles, let's create one file and I'll name it my style dot css okay let's hit enter and let's jump into it and let's uh, create some basic info some basic info like uh, i want to change the background color of the body uh, let's see where is our body as you can see this is our body okay this is our body tag uh, this is your index page and this area i want to change the background color so how i will do so i'll just write here body and under curly brace i will apply a background color background dash color and i'll apply some colors like uh, 0 0 ff ff okay like this now uh, let's uh, apply some more things like as you can see there is uh, one h1 tag okay under the body tag so i want to apply the font color of this is your index page so how will i do so i'll just write here h1 and under the curly press uh, sorry this will be a small h h1 okay now i will apply the color so i'll write here like this and let's apply some more uh, different color so i can write uh, like this okay some random color and i can give some more uh, infos like margin or paddings etc so i can give the margin and suppose I want 20 pixel like that. Okay, so let's save the my style.css and now let's apply this into our index.html. Okay, so before that, as you can see here that we are working on Google Colab. So as we have to say that what is your template folder like this, so we'll have to give a static folder also. So as you can see, this is our templates folder. So let's copy it. And paste it here and at the place of templates this is the static folder right static okay so this will be static folder let's name it static folder and i will have to apply this static folder as a static folder in our flask app okay because we are working on google collab and it's manually can't search for your static folder so i will have to 
गिव हियर्स स्टैटिक फोल्डर इज इक्वल टू स्टैटिक फोल्डर ओके सो नाउ दिस विल सर्च फॉर द स्टैटिक फोल्डर इन दिस एरिया ओके नाउ लेट्स जंप इनटू आवर इंडेक्स पेज हियर ओके एंड आफ्टर दिस बिट स्ट्रैप आई विल हैव टू अप्लाई आवर ऑन सीएसएस एंड हियर यू विल हैव टू नोटिस दैट दिस सीक्वेंसिंग ऑफ सीएसएस फाइल्स matters so if you want to apply your custom css over the bootstrap css so you will have to apply custom css after this link so let's come here and let's apply the css so how can we apply just try to link and relative is equal to uh, you can apply css or stansit so i'll apply like this style set and i'll give href and is equal to i'll make like this simple url underscore four and here i will write static okay and under this i will pass the file name okay and file name is equal to uh, what i have made the file name file name is under a styles folder okay so i will give firstly the styles slash and then i will make my style dot css have you understood what i have done here what we have done is url for static that means it will target static and then file name is style slash my style dot css so it will target styles slash my style dot css okay so done now let's uh, close this <coughs> so our style set is now applied now let's save it let's run it again Okay, so it's not working. Let's see what's happened. Okay, mistaken. H R E F. Let's have it. Again, it's not working. I I think I have to clear the cache. Let's see once more. Here and four static following my styles. Okay, this is styles, not a style. A styles. Today I'm doing so much typos. Okay, so it is applied. Okay, so like this you can apply your custom CSS. Okay, you can also write the same CSS. into your html file then it will work but you have the option to create the file and apply it like this so you can apply now let's see how can we apply our custom js into our application okay so for that i have to make one folder into static so i'll make here one folder and i'll name it js means javascript okay and under this i'll make one file and i'll name it myjs.js Okay, like this. And for JS app applying the JS, you can apply your JS at the last of your HTML. It is the good practice. Apply CSS before all of the codes and apply JS after all of the codes. Okay, this will increase your time uh, of loading. Oh, sorry, decrease your time of loading. Okay, so under this uh, at this place, I can apply. So let's come here. and let's apply our my js so uh, in my js let's uh, write something okay so suppose uh, let's come here in my js and suppose i would just want to show the alert okay so i'll make a function here and so alert i will name it so alert okay and under this method let's come down here and under the so alert i just call alert and under this i'll pass Okay, like this, I have to apply the uh, uh, so the alert. Okay, so let's call this. <clears throat> uh, let's uh, come here. Uh, somewhere up under the body tag, let's create one button. 
okay so when i will click on the button then this alert will be shown okay that is the good practice let's uh, come here and make one button and on click i will call that method on click is equal to what we have made the method that is uh, so alert so i'll just uh, copy this so alert and here i will pass so alert okay and uh, i can give some message on the button like uh, display alert and let's close the button okay like this i have made okay now let's save and uh, let's run again oh, sorry we have not applied the js here so we have to apply the js okay so for that um, let's stop it let's come here and let's apply a script so i'm right here a script as rc is equal to okay a script src is equal to i will write here url underscore for and i will write here um, static again because we have given the path of a static so i'll write here static and uh, this And I will name here uh, the file name the same like we have applied the CSS. So I'll write here uh, the folder name first, JS, and then our myjs, myjs.js. Okay, uh, so we have applied this, and now let's uh, close this one. So let's close the screen. Okay, so like this, we have applied, uh, and URL4 is not uh, closed here. So let's uh, close it first. Okay. So we have done like uh, as you can see what we have written here is a script src is equal to url4 static file name js my js dot js and close the script tag okay so now let's save it and let's run now you can see there is one button let's click on it and you will see that it is saying hello party okay like this you can apply any of the js also so guys i hope you have enjoyed this tutorial in this uh, video we have learned how to apply css and js in the next video we will learn how to get the values from our html form and also after that we will see how to use the database into our web page okay so stay tuned see you in next video thanks for watching